Hello everybody and welcome back to Riviera, um, part 4-4, uh, I think I'm on part 38, anyway. Let us, yeah, the, uh, water is no longer chasing us, thankfully. Uh, the chest, uh, has a something other. The buildings are, don't give you anything, but the chest has, it is trapped, so, oh joy. Oh wow, did it, awesome. Anyway, uh, it has a thunder blade, a flame lip, an elfin bow, and a burning, or a burning sun times 40. Um, you might want to get the flame whip just for this next battle, because uh, there's a mini boss coming up here that is weak to fire, so I'm gonna try and get the flame whip. There we go, three tries. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, now let's drop for it. Great. Oh yeah, I can drop the silver right here now, though. Let's make good use of it. Yes, let's. Anyway, moving on. But yeah, the water level will still rise, but it'll only rise as you, like, get to certain places, so... You can't backtrack as much, so you... It's a Colosseum. Awesome. Blah, 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 blah. Why do you know so much about a Colosseum if you're a witch? Seriously. Anyway, hanging ropes. Interesting ropes. Let's see, I'm stuck in my phone. Anyway, blah blah blah. Shouldn't be the rope. I wonder. Pull one! Uh, the right one? Or, no. Yeah, the right one gives you some bonangos. Uh, the left one drops a beehive on you. If you can avoid them, you can come back and get from the killer beehive, but it's still. It's an okay item, but it still has a chance to backfire on you. In the middle one just hurts you, so I'm going for the right one. Let's see. Ooh, banana. Looks just like a regular banana, but whatever. Sure, why not? What the hell? Do you guys hear that? Oh god, stupid cat. Anyway. Um great. This even has an overskill that I want. Uh I want to drop the slumber ivy, kind of. <sighs> I'll just drop it later. We can get some more bonangos after the fight. Uh, the memo, if you pick it up, you get points. It, I don't... I guess. I guess. Let me check it out real quick. Oh yeah, here's the goal manual that you kind of need to read. So it's... Uh, let me write this down real quick, because this is actually kind of important. Up. Down. Up. Right. Okay. Now, you don't need the memo at all, it just says Benangos are good, but you do... Oh, damn cat! Anyway, let's move on. Uh, several distractions later. Oh god, these guys. Here's the mini boss I was talking about. Uh. Oh god. What's this? Uh. Twins? Okay, I bully demons. They attack me every single time, guys! I, I, uh, whatever. Fool, show them your power. I'll do my best. I'm counting on you. Sure. Oh, man, he looks pretty weak, so. You know, when I first played this game through, uh, this is where I got stuck. Because <laughs> the blue fool is kind of annoying. Uh, these guys are weak against physical. The blue fool is weak against fire, and strong against ice, or fire and lightning, so I'm gonna go, uh, Ein. I think Sierra has the best over skill with the flame whip, so we'll do that, and Serene with the burning sun. So, Ein Riar, flame whip. What does that do? Ice damage, of course, so let's not bring that. Um... Power wrist? Sure, why not? That'll be interesting. We'll see. 
Let's take out these little hobbits real quick. That'll trigger an overdrive, definitely. It can hurt a little. But not terribly. Ow. Stop. Stop doing that. Uh, anyway, this battle I'm probably gonna cut for the most part because this chapter is once again very long, or this section is very long. So, uh, I'll see you guys later. I'll tell you how the, well this goes. Just barely! Hot Ein! He missed twice. Anyway. This is the duty of the Grim Ape. You notice Serene is dying a little bit. It's because uh, she ate two of the Blue Fool's Overdrive. Anyway, the Blue Bomber is kind of useless. It does pretty good bit of damage, and it's, well, more than once. But uh, I don't like them. I mean, I've got so many items that I need. Well, I don't really need them. Anyway, do you understand our power now? You're villains, you're all villains! Whatever. More water's coming. Ugh. So that one's the he, and the red one's the girl. Sure. They aren't androgynous at all. Anyway, there's a barrel. Now, you would think that maybe Ayn could break it with his sword or any of the other weapons, but you need the hammer we got from the Hobbit in the last chapter, so... I do have a hammer, so let's beat it. Break. Awesome. I still don't know what item I'm going to drop for this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to drop the Slumber Ivy. Kind of need it for the last chapter, though, but I don't think I'm going to hold on to it the whole time. So let's go ahead and drop you and train up real quick. It should be very brief grinding. So Lena learns Banana Slugger from that. Anyway, uh, there's nothing. The barrel obviously gives you nothing. So let's move on to this last area in this hallway over here. Ooh, that looks shiny. Oh, shut up, Serene. Let me, let me look at that sword. Why is it chained to a wall, though? Seriously. Shut up, guys! Jeez. What is that? It's a sword. A curse. I may I uncurse it? If you just take it, you'll lose trust from Fia, and Ayn will take a big chunk out of its HP, and you won't get as many charges with the item as you would if you asked Fia to take care of it, which gives her an infection boost naturally. But unfortunately, this requires you to do a minigame, which... is one of these. Yes! Only took one try because I hit down instead of B, like an idiot. I don't know what it is with the B button on these minigames and me. It makes me fail. God. So, at least she didn't actually lose uh, health from uncursing something, which she often does. Anyway, the Zantetsu is actually quite an awesome item. Uh, it's a really good reason to bring Fia into battles, which I know I haven't been doing, mainly because I've been short on rapiers for basically two chapters at this point. It is a lot bigger than that. Oh, great, these guys! Not not these blocking douchebags. Oh, let's take care of them. Fine. Anyway... Let's see, what are these guys weak to? He is strong against physical and weak against lightning. He is strong against... or weak against physical, so... Lena... Uh, no. See you after. Uh, the Thunderblade. The Moon Wand. The Elfin Bow, which does physical damage, of course, but. Eh, whatever. Ooh, I still have Lightning Bow. Oh, I could have discarded that instead of something I actually wanted. Anyway, I'll probably bring that in the battle instead. Eh, and do the, uh,. I guess, sure, why not? Actually use these secondary items. Where'd the lion statue go? Whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this battle. It shouldn't be nearly as annoying because uh, you have we have a much wider gamut of things we can hit him with, so... Have fun, beat the shit out of him, I'll see you guys later. So, 
I did an immensely stupid thing and didn't kill the gladiator last. I instead killed the hobbit, and you want to kill the gladiator first because he gives you a new sword that you want. Uh, you can use it to startling effect in the boss fight, so don't do what I did because I'm a moron. Anyway, now that we've moved up a level, the water will chase us, and so... Anyway, this lion statue thing. I've checked so many guides, like, so many people don't know how this thing works. I think it is a combination of if you either helped the Undine uh, in the last, in this chapter, or if you haven't run away from any fight. Uh, I'm not sure. It's like a test of courage or something. If you've run away from a fight, it might curse you, but I don't know. I've played through this game, like, eight, nine times, and I've never, ever been cursed, but I don't actually run away from battles, as you can see. I mean, I don't, I don't know why you would, but, um... Anyway, put, if you put Rose in, Ayn lose some, loses some HP when she scratches the shit out of him, and you lose Sierra Trust. But, uh, I want... You get a trust boost for everyone, basically, if you do this right should happen. <laughs> I am a true hero. Yes, I am totally a true hero. Anyway, all of Vine's, most of Vine's stats get a pretty hefty boost, and everybody loves you for it. So let's move on. Awesome. Now we can't go back because it's flooded, of course. Oh, this too. Looks a bit that should lead us. Ouch. So, the last barrel had more fruit in it, of course, which is always useful. But this one actually has something half decent, the Blood Claws. So we will be training up with these here in about two seconds. Um... Hmm. Oh, shit. Still, yeah, I can drop the lightning bird, yeah. I forgot about that. Anyway, I'll be right back. Here's Lena's new overdrive skill, Voltage Rain. It's okay, I mean, it's pretty good. I always end up not doing... well, you'll see. Somehow I ended the game with the Elfin Bow the first time I played through. I did not do very well in the first time I played through this game. Anyway. I'm glad we're getting some Lena skills, because she is seriously lacking. I don't know why. I guess it's because she can only really use bows, claws, and whips, which we aren't finding very many of. Anyways, there is another enemy encounter in here, of course. Oh, these guys. Uh, anyway, if, let's see. Oh, these guys don't, actually aren't very tough. Once again, of course, not very tough at all. Uh, let's check their stats real quick, see if they're weak against ice. I still don't have- actually, the book of, uh, whatever. Not any. Fire and fire, so... I'm Sierra Screen. Okay, looks good. So, I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm just gonna wreck these guys real quick, and I'll tell you how it went, I guess. Oh, it isn't! Wow! Huh. Um, okay. Interesting. I did not know you could get that. And I was going to, like, not do very well on purpose so I could, uh, see if I could get the, uh... The flag. And finally find out what the flag does, but I guess I did way too well. I don't want to throw away the cross lines. I might just drop the power wrist for now, because I can easily get another one. With the practice battle. Yay! So, the Colos- or the- whatever that is, Colosseo, I guess? I don't know. I don't know, Italian. Anyway, I'm gonna practice and then we'll finish the part. Awesome. Okay, let's move on. So, I think this area actually isn't very big. Find out in a minute. 
I'll see you guys next time. Peace.